we stand to declare our faith in one church, one faith, and one Lord. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We sit or kneel to pray. Son has ascended. Help us to look to him for everlasting glory as he is now reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in your kingdom forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. There are many issues that need our prayers and actions at this time. We are an all-inclusive church Help us, Lord, to see clearly as we work for social fairness. And we pray that we can embrace community spirit, acceptance of others' views and opinions, those on the wrong side of the law, the LGBTQ communities, the Ukrainian crisis, refugees, countries in turmoil and conflict, not all known by us, but known to you. Grant us the strength and guide us through our prayers, Lord, to help and support where we can. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, through your gospel, help us to embrace our local community through quiet understanding and acceptance. Help us be aware of different beliefs and ways of life. And we pray for schools as exams begin. And we pray for the staff, teachers and pupils who have had to prepare and plan. And Lord, we pray for parts of the world where school is a luxury and we cry out for a fair world where all children can thrive and know their worth. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, deliver, deliver your creation from corruption. People all over the globe who are needing a safe haven but only find mistrust and prejudice. Open our hearts and minds to confront the darkness with justice and encircle the broken with love. And we pray for all those caught up in these situations and world emergencies. And we pray that there will be a time when everyone knows peace and justice in their lives. 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all who are unwell in either body or mind, for families and friends who live with the worry and defects, whose unconditional love is sometimes stretched to extreme. And we pray for those on our prayer list and mentioned by name, name, those recently added this week. Mary Hutchinson, George Taylor, Olive Mercer, Janet Scott, Jack, Jackie Bartlett, Nitin Dabade. And we pray that they feel the strength of our healing prayer in their lives. Lord, grant peace, grace and peace to the departed. And we pray for Kathy Hyder, Richard Mann, David Seaman, Pam Payton, John D. Robinson, and Stephen Weeks, who have recently passed. And we remember with love Rosalie Beater, Eileen Turner, Ken Delaney, Lillian Williams, and Sally Shepka. May they all rest in peace in your glorious kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May we feel the power and peace of God's love as we leave here this morning, ready to face a new week, sharing the love and light that shines in the darkness. Give praise and glory to our ascended Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you like to stand for the peace? Jesus prayed that his disciples would be one, a witness to the world of unity and love, and breathed his peace upon them. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ Christ has died. Christ Christ is is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sin of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of St. John and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace.
Let us pray. Eternal God, giver of love and power, your Son, Jesus Christ, has sent us into all the world to preach the gospel of his kingdom. Confirm us in this mission and help us to live the good news we proclaim through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. So before the notices, I'm going to publish the bands of marriage. I publish the bands of marriage between Andrew James Bulner and Chloe Miranda Kahani for the second time of asking. They are both of this parish. If any of you know any reason why Andrew and Chloe may not be joined together in holy matrimony, then you are to say so. And I'm sure we hold both Andrew and Chloe in our prayers as they prepare for their wedding. So just a few notices this morning. First of all, I'd like to thank Jane for coming to preside here. And uh, we're very pleased to see her back and we hope we'll see her again before long. And then um, today marks the end of Christian Aid Week, as Brian commented. And uh, our thanks go to Lynn Wells for um, organizing it for us this week. She gave out some envelopes last week, and some of you have already brought them back, but if you've brought them with you this morning, um, please hand them in, and I'm sure we have some spares if uh, you've forgotten them and left them at home. Um, the next date of any notice, I think, is Thursday. Um, Kathy is beginning a, um, a confirmation class. There are a series of three of them leading up to the confirmation on the 11th of June. And um, if any of you are feeling like being confirmed or not quite sure about it or need to be baptized, perhaps, um, do have a word with, with Kathy or email her and uh, come along. It's no, no compulsion. You can come to the class without having to be confirmed. And then uh, next Sunday is going to be Pentecost, and so that's a great feast in the church. Oh, I forgot, Saturday, this coming Saturday is gardening, I believe. Um, Anthony is the organizer, and he'll be letting his team know about it, but I'm sure he'd welcome any others of you who would like to join us. It's, uh, it's, a, it's good exercise, and it's good social socializing and um, it generally makes one feel much better. Most of it is very destructive sort of work, taking ivy off gravestones and that sort of thing. And, um, and so it's, it's very good for us. And then um, 30th of May, Tuesday, that's Tuesday week, we have here an organ recital by Tim Harper. He is the organist at Ripon Cathedral, and he is the, the son of Marilyn, who has played for us several times recently. And that's an evening of wine, food, and stunning music. So I'm sure it'll be very good. That's the 30th. And then I mean, we've already mentioned the confirmation service on the 11th of June. And as always, our regular events, uh, Tuesday mornings, English lessons for Ukrainians, um, place of welcome on Wednesday, Thursday, 9.30, morning prayer to all saints, and the Busy Bees Toddlers group on Friday and our community larder open as usual whenever the church is open. I think that's all. Anyone has any other notices? And I haven't been told about any birthdays, so I assume there aren't any this week. Clearly celebrating your birthday, saving your birthday celebrations for next week when we celebrate the birthday of the church at Pentecost. And I can see this side of the altar, the wonderful Pentecost hanging that will no doubt be facing all of you next week. It's glorious. 
So we're going to stand to sing our final hymn this morning, Christ Triumphant, Ever Reigning, Saviour, Master, King. Hymn number 119. us pray God's blessing. May the God who has called us to be one unite us in his son Jesus Christ and fill us with his spirit to proclaim his love to the world and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and evermore. Amen. In the name of Christ, amen. amen.